there and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this episode, I'm going to give a sneak peek of my Halloween beer uh, beer reviews here on the channel. Uh, these are ones I picked up. Uh, some local, some not. Uh, local mean Ohio, within the state of Ohio, where I'm located at. Uh, others not within the state of Ohio. Now, these I'm going to film and drop one a day for about a week. I think I have seven of them right now. Uh, I think I'm going to run them about a week, about Sunday through Saturday, uh, mid to late October, somewhere in there, there will be advertisement promotions uh, hitting the channel, so you can uh, be sure to uh, tune in that week and check one out. At least check one of them out. Check all seven of them out. That'd be fantastic as well. So let's jump into this. All right, so one out of R. Shea Brewing Company in State, Ohio. This here is their Pumpkin L. It says a fall spiced seasonal. These guys are located in Akron, Ohio, up north from where I'm located. And just cool screams uh, Halloween, right? Got the fire coming out of the pumpkin's eyes there. The big grin on it. If you really look in it, I guess it's uh, he's got some like orange bone arms there, hands there. Uh, kind of a black, um, I don't know what, what we call that there, like a robe type of thing or something like that. So this here is, uh, what's the ABV on this here? 5.25% alcohol by volume. So hopefully it's a nice offering. Uh, another local brewery that I've been seeing a lot of in the area, Wolf's Ridge Brewing Company. This was $2.50 a can. Uh, this here, I paid $3.50. That's all that was. Uh, $2.50 a can for this right here. And um, not that much. You guys uh, have these 12 ounce grenades here. Uh, shout out to Ridgeopolis there. Six and a half percent alcohol by volume. And they just call this a pumpkin, uh, pumpkin L. Uh, says uh, almost 1,000 pounds of pumpkin goes into making slice. That's what this is called, slice. A caramel forward and multi-rich beer. Uh, there's some more reading. I'll get into that during the review. But uh, these guys have been pretty solid. I've been pretty happy with some of the offerings I've been uh, getting from them. So hopefully that'll that'll live up uh, to the hype as well. And then I picked a couple of them up from Southern Tier. So this is the Warlock. Uh, it's an Imperial Pumpkin Stout. And... Let's see here. It says Best by 629.24 on it. Just noticed that. But it's 8.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, many of you have had uh, that particular, um, uh, this particular beer out there. Now, this is one, I don't think I've had this. Um, I've seen it around, and I just didn't want to buy a six-pack. I don't like buying a six-pack of pumpkin beers, because uh, I just... You know, I'm like one and done with these types of things here. So I just don't want a six pack of them. And I was able to grab that in a single bottle. So I was pretty happy about that right there. Uh, let's see. Got a second one from Southern Tier. And this one here is uh, something that I thought was kind of unique right here. It's a nitro coffee beer. It is a cold, sorry, cold brew coffee pumpkin, pumpkin nitro. So the pumpkin, I reviewed that on the channel, I think last year or the year before, if, you've, if you're familiar with, uh, they usually really release Warlock and Pumpkin around the same time each year. And uh, the pumpkin, or pumpkin, I had last year, but this is a coffee nitro version of that. This is, a, I paid 480 a can for this one here. Uh, this one here, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one, actually. And it's 8.6% alcohol by volume. So, again, no joke on that ABV, uh, just like this one wasn't. All right, so we got one out of uh, Flying Monkeys Craft Brewing out of Canada. And this here is their uh, Paranormal Imperial Pumpkin L, 10% alcohol by volume, and cool, cool artwork. Now, Flying Monkeys always, always has just freaking kick-ass artwork here. This is 539 for this. Uh, it is an Imperial Stout at 10%. Uh, I haven't read it, but I'm sure there's a lot of nice adjuncts in here. I see ginger, nutmeg, uh, cinnamon, allspice, all the fun, typical uh, pumpkin beer type of stuff. Looks like it's in here. 
And uh, this is out of um, Barrie, Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Sorry, I'm sure I, I never pronounced that correctly. Uh, but it, it says imported from or imported from Canada by Esber Beverage Company out of Canton, Ohio. I've never noticed that on any of the Flying Monkeys beers that I've had. Uh, but that would explain why there are so many Flying Monkeys offerings, um, Flying Monkey offerings here in uh, in Ohio. And let's see here. We got, uh, so this one here is from Two Robbers Seltzer Company. And they're, I think they're out of Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is 420 is what I paid for this. So this right here, it's a nitro hard coffee. Pumpkin flavor, obviously. 100% uh, Colombian coffee. Says low caffeine, 20 milligram per can. So about 100, just over 100, 120 uh, and a cup of coffee, 150 maybe. This is a low carbs and 130 calories. It doesn't say the carbs on it, but I'm not really worried about that right now. But uh, definitely another cool Halloween festive style um, you know, can art there. So, uh, so it's, I believe it's just called Happy Coffee. Happy Coffee. So, I got a couple, as you can see here, a couple of uh, nitro um, beers uh, here on the channel. And last but not least, for the Halloween uh, beer reviews, is this one here out of Streetside Brewing Company out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. And this here is their Zero Day. It is a double New England IPA with Tupelo honey and marshmallow. I believe I said that right, Tupelo honey. And um, Zero Day is inspired by those days camping that you just want to chill and take it all in. So, of course, we see the uh, very, very famous Friday the 13th character, or at least somebody that looks very much like Jason Voorhees, right? So, Zero Day, Marshmallow Zero Day. I think they have a Zero Day without Marshmallow or something like that. Um, I want to say, see, this is pretty cool. You got the axe there. He's in the hammock and everything. Um, but it should be a machete, I guess, and not an axe, but whatever. Um... So I guess I seen this on social media from one of the guys. I, I want to say, was it a beer a day with TK? I don't know if he did this last year or if I shared something on social media or if he shared something on social media. But I did see this somewhere out there uh, from one of my, uh, you know, Ohio uh, beer review uh, guys out there. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of pumped to have this. If anything, man, that's just. Just cool artwork. There's a few of these with really cool artwork. And so these will be the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That I feature on the channel during the Halloween beer review week. But I did pick up a bonus one. So this one here is one. Uh, I'm going to knock it out. Uh, probably release it on Thanksgiving. And this is another one from R. Shea Brewing Company. So this here is maple mashed sweet potatoes. It's a milk stout with maple and sweet potatoes. It's 8% alcohol by volume. Very interesting right here. Uh, this was uh, this was only $3.50 a can uh, for this one here for a single. And again, out of Akron, Ohio, uh, this is not going to be dropped during the Halloween, um, you know, uh, Halloween beer week. Here on the channel i think i'm going to share that on thanksgiving a uh, nice um i don't know holiday festive style beer right there so hey i appreciate all of the support from you guys out there in the youtube world and um you know be sure to tune in and uh you know see what i got going on and be sure to check out these beer reviews on the halloween uh, beer review week here on the channel like always thanks for watching